pretty large in pretty large pieces because this is a pot pie. So they don't have to be tiny. There's your onions. Now we're gonna chop our carrots. And we're gonna cook these in bouillon. And you're gonna cube your potatoes okay, for this pot pie. All right, we're gonna add about three cups of hot water. And then you're gonna use a nor beef bouillon, but I'm using granules, so I'm using a tablespoon. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and put two in there today. So if you wanna mark up your cookbook, you can. It's just according to how many vegetables you're making as to how much bouillon you'll wanna use. But this is gonna be a large pot pie. Um, I'm gonna put my onions, my potatoes, and my carrots in this bouillon, and we're going to simmer these until they're soft. You do not wanna put them in raw before in the oven, or they're not gonna get done in your pot pie. So you have to pre-cook vegetables first if you're using fresh vegetables like we are today. So you're gonna simmer these until they're fork tender in that broth for your delicious pot pie. So you're gonna boil these or just simmer them until they're nice and fork tender. So do this early in the day. And then you can come back and finish the pot pie at supper. All right, we're gonna chop up some sweet pepper or bell pepper to go in our ground beef when we're browning it. Now, I call in the recipe for you to use half the onion when you're boiling the vegetables and then half the onion in the ground beef. But I put all of the onion in the vegetables and so we won't be putting onion in the ground beef. Chris has been asking for me to make this beef pot pie over and over. And I told him, I said, today is your lucky day because I have made beef pot pie, or I'm making beef pot pie, and I made him a box pound cake with fresh strawberries today, and that's one of his favorites too. So Chris has had a really good day in here, hey, me, Chris? Yep, good day. Good day, good day. Good day, sunshine. Right? Is that the right words? Yeah, those three words. <laughs> I got them, I got them. All right, we're going to get over here to the skillet. We're going to brown our beef and throw in our peppers. So, this is uh, 7320, so I'm going to have some grease that we're going to have to drain off this meat. Because this is cheaper, less fat, I mean more fat in it. So we put just a little bit more in there. Okay. And we're gonna add our peppers to it. This is going to be really good, y'all. This looks so good. Now, over here we have our vegetables that I simmered in our beef broth this morning. And that's onion and potatoes and carrots. And that's going to go in our pot pie. See y'all in a minute when this gets good and brown. Now I've got paper towels in here soaking up some of this grease because uh, I don't really want to put it, you know, drain it in the sink. So what we're going to do, of course you never drain it down the sink, but I still don't want to take it over there. All right. So a viewer taught me to uh, use paper towels and it takes a few. I will say that. But they soak it up and it's perfect to put in the trash can when you're done. So just tilt it and push it over to the side and use your paper towel and get most of it up. And then we're going to cook. There we go. So I'm going to put my meat in my in this little bowl right here because we are going to... Um, 
use this skillet for my pot pie. Now, if you've got a nice round, deep skillet, you can use it. And of course, you can use a 13 by nine baking dish as well. But I like to use the iron skillet because uh, the pie crust that I use covers the bottom of it and it covers the top of it. Um, and a round casserole dish is the same way, all right? So you're gonna take pie crusts, and I buy the ones refrigerated, and you're going to put one in the bottom of the skillet, and pie crusts are real oily. They don't need, you don't have to, you know, grease anything. You just put it in there, all right? Now, because I wanted to use my skillet, but I had my beef in, I'm not going by the recipe because the recipe tells you to add your vegetables and your gravy, mix it all up, and then put it on the crust, okay? But I'm just gonna layer it in here because my skillet I had to use to put the pie crust in, okay? I could have put it in a casserole and I guess I could have, but I really like it better in this deep iron skillet. If you don't have a deep iron skillet, oh, it makes the best pot pie, don't you, Chris? Oh, yeah. It makes it all toasty and good. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's our beef mixture. And now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take three cups of milk and three quarter cups of McCormick brown gravy mix and whisk it together. Now, if you made this uh, in the skillet, like I tell you to on the recipe, it would get thick before you even put it in here. All right. So mix that up real good. Now, we're going to put our vegetables in there. And you are more than welcome to use less milk and use a little bit of the broth that was in the pot with your veggies. Or, I made so many vegetables, y'all, I'm probably going to have extra and me and Chris can just make a beef soup out of it because all this broth is in here and it looks really good. It's got onion in it and I think that's plenty of vegetables, don't you, Chris? Oh, yeah. I just cut up a lot, <laughs> didn't I? And if you don't want to cut up fresh vegetables, then of course you can drain some vegetables, mixed vegetables, and put on the top of this. All right, now we're gonna put this gravy in there. And make sure you got enough to cover it good. That's about right. I think I made this in a big pan the first time. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off this and place it on the top. So if you're feeding a big, big crowd, you can use all of these ingredients that I actually had on this recipe because it's a lot and put it in like a deep lasagna dish. Just lay this pie crust along the bottom of the lasagna dish. But my goodness, this is more than enough to feed me and Chris twice, two or three times. You're just gonna take your pie crust like this and put it around there and let it wrinkle around the sides just like that. And I'm just gonna cut a couple of slits in it. We're gonna place this in the oven at 375 degrees for an hour. You want it to be good and toasty. And you want this pie crust to be nice and crunchy. And boy, is it good. We're gonna get it out of the oven in an hour. And we're gonna get this in here and let it start to toast and brown good. our beef pot pie and we've got us some good old asparagus sauteed right here on this little flat iron and boy this thing looked good while it was cooking didn't it don't you just love those time lapses boy it smells up the house so good all right we're gonna dip into it and make us a plate Since 
And now these pie crusts are amazing. Now you can go ahead and make yours homemade if you want to, but to me, you can't beat them. You can buy Walmarts or Pillsbury's or who's ever you want to buy. Got all those veggies and that pretty crust. Let's pick it up, put it on the top. Just like that. And we're gonna put some asparagus on the plate. again. Oh, Chris never wants to do the tasting. He's camera shy. Well, anyway, it's time to taste our beef pot pie. And boy, does it look good with these potatoes and carrots. And I'm going to give it a try. It is hot, but I'm going to tell you, it is so good. If you don't have a big thing in McCormick seasoning, just go to the website and look under our spice section or go to Walmart or somewhere and get their beef gravy mix. And you will not be disappointed, all right? This is absolutely delicious. It is a keeper keeper, and your family is going to love it, just like Chris. We'll see you next time on Color Valley Cooks, where we cook like our mamas did. Bye, y'all, love ya.